What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the new iOS 8.4.1 and all of this information can be found at this address here taiji8.net and now as you know you cannot install Cydia on a device that is not jailbroken because Apple has not approved that app but you can, of course, install apps that Apple has approved. And the Thai GA team has found a clever way to hide Cydia and the jailbreak inside approved applications. So the result is that you get an application that is approved by Apple and can be installed and has the jailbreak and Cydia hidden inside of it. And since the jailbreak is hidden inside of the uh, approved app, you need to start the app and leave the app running for about 30 seconds to give Cydia time to install itself. Now all you need to do is go to this address from your iDevice, from uh, your Safari browser on your iDevice. Install Cydia.mobile. Uh, I'm going to show you this on my iPhone 4S running iOS 8.4.1 there we go iOS 8.4.1 build number 12H321 so all you need to do is start your Safari browser go to installcydia.mobile click this icon here to get to the free app store with the free injected apps and now all of these apps and games on this site are injected with Cydia. Sometimes they get patched, so if the first app doesn't work, just try another app. Usually it works right away, but sometimes you have to try and install a couple of different apps before it works. So let's just pick this one and install it. And like I said before, it's important to keep the app running for about 30 seconds. Because if you close the app too soon, then you also close the Cydia installation. After you're done jailbreaking, you can delete this app if you want to. Then you have no use for it anymore. And yes, this works on in all countries all over the world. I get that question a lot. And it works on all devices that are capable of running iOS 8.4.1. Should be done installing soon. And there we go. And now we just need to start up the app. And you don't need to do anything inside the app now. You can poke around if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Uh, because right now in the background, CDI is being installed. So you don't have to do anything here if you don't want to doesn't really matter. Important thing is keep that running for about 30 seconds. And like I said, if the first app doesn't work, then just try another app. It always works in the end. And now when 30 seconds have passed, you simply restart your device to finish the jailbreak process and the installation of uh, Cydia. You will see quite soon if the jailbreak worked or not. If it doesn't, do, if it didn't work, then the your device will just start up no, normally. And if it the jailbreak was a success, then uh, hopefully I will show you now what it looks like. Seems to take an awful long time to shut it down, so I think it did work. If it takes time to start it up and it takes time to shut it down, then that's usually a good sign. 
No, shut up. And we just start it up again. Should see it pretty soon. Yep, the jailbreak worked. Now it's as unpacked the Cydia and jailbroken the device, and now it just needs to update the system files and install Cydia. should see the Apple logo soon. There we go. That's a sign that it is uh, updating the system files and uh, installing Cydia. So, it seems the, the, sorry, it seems the jailbreak worked. Of course, I'm also going to um, start up Cydia and show you that it works. And there we go, we should be done jailbreaking now. And there we are, that's Syria. It's a bit slow the first time you run it after you just jailbroke it, but it will be faster uh, the next time. But as you can see, the Cydia is fully functional and a bit slow though, but that's just the first time when it's just been installed. So, here we go, we now have a jailbroken device with Cydia on iOS 8.4.1, build number 12H321. Now, if you like this video, then please do comment, rate and subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.